It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out of my mind. It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. I'm putting you out, trash day, I'm putting you out of my mind. Now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up the house. Taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage. As King of the Ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWF superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list. And that's the Can Crushers list. And I'm fixing to start running through all of them. And welcome to Can Crushers, where each week, a couple of garbage men drink beer and talk wrestling. Mark Martinez alongside Paul Bullers. Paul, this is a great episode that we have. We have two guests with us, with us this week. Uh, the English professor is actually in studio, and Palapino. He's about to have a field day with you, Stutters. I know. It was a rough night last night as we celebrated uh, the Pizza Chops Dom's 50th birthday party, and we rolled in pretty late. <laughs> I was at two weddings. I rolled in late as well. I, how are you two feeling? I feel all right. Um, I've been going to the gym and working out, so I feel terrific, and uh, I, I can handle my alcohol again. You look amazing. I feel like, thank you, I feel like a new man. <laughs> I feel good, too. I, I don't. I don't know. It hit me or something. And, uh, it's called old age, bud. It's old age. It yeah. is old age. So it's coffee. It's coffee in the morning, no beers. Yeah. So, so we're bringing you the King of the Ring talk because, spoiler, that's our next tournament on Can Crushers. We're going to... That's not a spoiler. We already told him about it. All right, whatever. Last episode, bud. Whatever. It's a spoiler for today. What we're going to do is come up with the first round. We have 24 people in this, and the last match is going to be a triple threat match. So we'll figure that out on Facebook, how I'm going to make a triple threat voting match. But nonetheless, uh, let's talk. It's free-for-all. Let's talk about some of the King of the Ring winners. Somebody can go first. Uh, How about we pull them out of the hat and we talk about them that way? Would that be easier? Kind of kill them two birds with one stone? I like it. Pat, I'm just here to write down the names. Document is back, folks. I'm back. Document is back. Document. <laughs> all right. First, I mean, all right. We have all the King of the Ring winners uh, as the pay per view with my quotes. We have Jerry Lawler in it because he was a king. We have Rocky King in it. We have like Haku and Duggan because they carried the crown around that uh, Harley Race originally carried. And then we needed pretty much one more person. So Jimmy King from the greatest movie out there ever with David Arquette. Ready to rumble. Is in it as well. So, all right, here we go. This is the first match. Somebody pull one out. All right. And the first person is Kurt Angle. Oh, Pennsylvania boy, right off the get. Do you, does anybody remember anything about that match? <laughs> Kurt Angle won in 2000 when he defeated Rakishi. So, wow, I don't remember much about I don't that either, match. Man. I, don't I was kind of checked out for a while in the early 2000s. So. That, that was, all right. So, so the next one's going to be his opponent. We're just going right down the list? Correct. All right. Next one is going to be Sheamus. Oh, wow. Sheamus won a King of the Ring? Sheamus won, later ones. Oh Sheamus won in 2010, defeating John Morrison. Wow. All right. Pat, Pat. you want to pick one? Stone that... Cold! Stone Cold! Oh, hell yeah! So we're probably going to talk a lot about this one, because this is probably the greatest King of the Ring. One of. One of. Uh, both Bret Hart's were huge in my book. I mean, well, well I don't want to skip over Stone Cold, but... You know, that's where the entrance today came from. Uh, so, Stone Cold, this is where pretty much his popularity came from. He came, he was a ringmaster, which was doing nothing. Right. Then he became a million dollar champion. Yes. Yeah, that did nothing. And that didn't do much either, but. This was probably the most influential one in my book. I, uh, huge fans of Brett and Owen, but I thought those first two were kind of predictable. Um, Brett won the first one, and you could just see Owen winning the second one. Uh, Stone Cold winning was something different, and that speech he gave, he just cut Jake to the bone. Um, it was pretty badass, and uh, Austin 316 was off and running. Yeah, that was June 23rd, 1996. Uh, we were all probably down Helen's watching it. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt, 20 yeah, guys yeah. packed into my mom's <laughs> living room. It was hot. All right, who's Stone Cold's... 
We all know that Stone Cold's just gonna go through it. Oh, the hacksaw Jim Duggan! Oh, oh! the first ever Royal Rumble winner as yeah. well. Yeah, that's what I can't wait for in January when we do one of these for the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is by far my favorite pay per view. So, all right, we'll go back to John. All right. This will be the third match. I know you guys won't remember these. They'll be on Facebook. Same voting as last time. Get out of my way! Kent Shamrock. Wow. Shamrock won his in 1998 against The Rock. Beat The Rock. And that was actually in Pittsburgh. Yeah, and Rock was Intercontinental Champion at the time, too, I think. Yeah, that was the same day the Hell in a Cell. Yep. So... Shamrock is going to go against Brett the Hitman. Oh, Hart. wow. Oh, this is so exciting, folks. Brett won in 91 and 93, defeating IRS and Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, such good stuff. So much fun. Who you got, Pat? Paul's quiet oh, today. Rated R Superstar Edge. Edge won in 2001, defeating Kurt Angle. So Angle was in the finals. The year after he oh, won. Wow, okay. Well, Edge, I got some bad news for you. Because you were going to go up against Bad News Barrett, who defeated Ni- Nival? Neville. 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 <laughs> Ni- Neville. In 2015. He was actually the last King of the Ring champion. Stop there. Do you think we should the WWE should bring this back and make it its own pay-per-view again, guys? It would be something different. Other than, you know, just a, a, the Royal Rumble's different. That's why we love it. Survivor Series is different. That's why we love it. King of the Ring was unique, and, and I, it'd be fun to see it again. You know, have the whole tournament and then throw in your heavyweight and universal championship yeah. matches and call it a day. The best thing about doing this would be that they would have something to do with their mid-card people. Right. Like the people you don't see on TV very often. Bobby Roode would be great in this. You know what I would like to see? Queen of the Ring. Uh, oh, without a doubt. Yeah, that would be good. I think they should just go with that and then go from there. Uh, we got a name. Can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> By the way, I'm going to do everybody's voice. Five times. So five times. Everybody knows. <laughs> that is Booker T. Booker T won in 2006, defeating Bob. Bob? Bobby we still, Lashley. We still give no love to Bobby Lashley. <laughs> oh, Not the show. Not the Bobby Lashley, Brock Lesnar, and Roman Reigns are just hated on this show. Well, Booker probably in my book... Has has an easy win as he's going to be going against Billy Gunn. Yeah, that was a good one too, right? Didn't he face one of his old uh, DX teammates in the final? X-Pac. Yeah, that 19, was a good one. Nineteen ninety nine. He he won that. I'm sorry. I without this list in front of me, I didn't remember Billy Gunn was a King of the Ring winner. I had forgotten until you just brought it up. Morocco is our next one. The first one. Morocco won in 1985, defeating the Iron Sheik, and John has gushed over this one since we told him about this whole King of the Ring tournament that we're doing, so go. Uh, I had no idea that the King of the Ring, like the King of the Ring we know started in 93, right? So there was Harley Race winning the crown and defending the crown and Haku and Duggan and Savage, but the King of the Ring tournament we figured was 93 when Bret Hart beat Bam Bam. But evidently, this was going on almost 10 years before that. With a few uh, off years. Yeah. Um, but they were never, to my knowledge, never televised anywhere. There's no uh, Coliseum video with the clamshell cover of it that Which I could Which you find. bought in Asylum Pro Wrestling? Yep. Uh, so that, and I'm surprised that it was uh, two bad guys in the finals. Two, like, really hot bad guys. Not physically speak. I mean, they were good looking guys, but I mean like they were, uh, they had a lot of heat at the <laughs> time, is what I'm trying to say. It's going downhill already. Anyway, who's Morocco facing, Pat? Oh, this big heavyweight Haku. Oh, wow. wow. He's probably one of the strongest guys out there, too, up there with Morocco. One of the meanest guys yeah. out there, too. Uh, he's got like a good rep for that. Yeah, he, he has done some... That's going to be a tough a lot match, of people, guys. A lot of guys in the back are always afraid of him. Like, they would wouldn't do nothing. Like, oh, he's doing it's okay. Yep. <laughs> uh Owen Hart is up next. And I don't have anything on. Oh yeah. Nineteen ninety four. Defeated the bad guy. Razor, Razor Ramon. Yeah. So Owen's actually one of my, you know, picks. I, I hope he takes that middle bracket. I really do and runs with it. 
I've always loved Owen. I love the Blue Blazer. So That's uh, when the Anvil came back, too. Everybody thought he was coming back to help out Brett, and he came out to help Owen. He decked uh, Razor, threw him in the ring, and that was that. Owen won. Who's Owen's opponent, Mark? Owen's opponent is Pat's dad, the Macho oh, Man. Wow. wow! These wow. matches are incredible, guys. Wow, right off the bat. For those who don't know, the inside joke is Pat Lapino's dad looks just like the Macho Man. The long hair, the beard. <laughs> Says, ooh, yeah, all the time. Eat Slim Jims. Eat like Slim Jims. <laughs> he, uh... <laughs> He actually just did buy some pepperoni sticks from Pittsburgh. <laughs> so, close enough. <laughs> uh, the, now, the Macho Man was actually one, the one that I remember the most. You know, I remember Harley having it, but I thought right. they just gave it to him. Uh, Savage, when he was managed by Scary Sherry, yeah. ran with this. I remember him. Yeah. This kind of got him up in the next level as well. So He, uh, he beat against, Duggan. Yeah. Yeah. Him against Owen, that's, wow. That's going to be awesome. Great. And that's going to be the match of the first round so far. Savage has got to be careful. No, Owen's that nugget you just can't flush. That's right. He won't go down. Wow. All right, Pat's got the next pick. You guys' favorite, Brock Lesnar. Uh, <sighs> anyway, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> i got to hurry up and pick. <laughs> Brock's going against Tito. Come on, Tito! Tito. Easy. Arriba! Arriba! <laughs> Easy win for Tito. It better or, be. Or as Ventura would call him, Chico. Chico. Right, Tito won in 89. He defeated Rick Martel. <laughs> yeah. Again, that's Former, one. Uh, that's, Strike Force members. Yeah, that's yeah, one I don't Strike remember. Uh, it's time to play the game. Ooh, Triple H Triple starting H. his third bracket off. King of Kings. Okay, this one is Triple H against Jerry Lawler. Oh, the wow. King. The, the King. The King, more or less. The King of the original Memphis. Ones. He had to been like one of the first ones, if not the first one. The the King King? I, yeah. I mean, I mean, that goes back to the early 80s carrying that name. Yeah, Jerry I mean, Lawler. He's probably carried the longest. Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man. Um, I have no recollection of DiBiase winning a tournament because it was before it was. DiBiase won in '88 against Randy Savage, actually. Savage. So Savage made it to the finals again after the year that he yeah, won. But it. Savage was world champion at that time too. He had just won it at WrestleMania four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he beat the champion in the finals. Wow. Learning new stuff. <laughs> The Million Dollar Man is going against Harley Race, who won in 86, defeating Pedro Morales. Morales. Yeah. And I remember, this was when Bobby Heenan was managing Harley Race. Yeah. And what's the backstory? He got hurt, and that's how Haku ended up with it. Yeah, he had Hogan on a table on Saturday night's main event, and he jumped off the ring. Hogan moved. Harley Race went through the table and broke ribs. I don't know if that's... You know, the, the true story or just oh, the wrestling story. Oh, it is. Story. Yeah, he got it's hurt. true. Um, but they needed a replacement, and they brought Haku back, and they gave him uh, the crown. Um, speaking of royalty, William Regal. Regal won in 2008, defeating CM Punk. Hmm. Which, I don't remember this, but this is right around the time CM Punk was getting hot or hot. I, I think maybe it's just losing his, just getting out of uh, the straight edge society. Moving on to being, you know, CM Punk that we know now. Mr. Pipe Bomb. Yeah. And <laughs> William Regal's going to be going against Jimmy King. <laughs> of, oh, jeez. Ready to rumble. Of ready to rumble. <laughs> so I know one that's left in there. I don't remember the I, other yeah, one. Yeah, I know one who's in there, too, speaking of King. So Pat and Paul will get the last one. Pat? King Mabel. <laughs> so this is actually Paul's pick. This is my pick to go the distance. King Mabel. And he's definitely going against a jobber right off the get, Rocky King. So I, I'm glad for that. Yeah, um, it's going to be hard-pressed for me to find a picture of Rocky King to put on Facebook. You could find it because he was, he was kind of a big-time jobber in like 1990 when uh, the Four Horsemen were feuding with like Sting and the Steiners and Luger. For whatever reason, and the Junkyard Dog, I think, was involved in that. Rocky King was just in that group of uh, baby faces who got pummeled by the horsemen. Yeah, I know. I know I can so, find yeah, it. Yeah, you'll I've, find I've something. Lo- I've looked it up before. So, all right, that's the first round. We know nobody's going to remember. I'm not going to remember. But we have them down. That's going to start this Thursday right after 
uh, of course, after our podca- podcast on Wednesday. What, what do you guys want to say? Let's let's dive into 15 minutes in. we got a couple more minutes. Let's see uh, what we got to say. I, I want to say, as far as Rocky King against Mabel, uh, there's always hope. Let's not forget 1987, Special Delivery Jones was in the tournament, defeated Sika in round one, advanced to round two to face King Kong Bundy. So I'm with Paul. I think Rocky King's got this, and I think he's going deep into the tournament. Paul's, uh, Paul's already picked Mabel. Yeah, Where were you at? You're oh, you picked me. Mabel. Oh, yeah. all against you. Anybody, anybody on my side for Rocky King? No, I go with <laughs> no. Uh, Nobody. Uh, you better be. You better vote for him then. Maybe I'll start from the bottom on Thursday and come up <laughs> just to see. You. I'll just try not to vote twice again. That's always a mistake that I make. <laughs> So let's break down the brackets a, a little bit. You know, who who looks good in the first bracket? What, what matches standing out document to you? Uh, standing out to me, I think you said, Mark, this might be the match of the first round is Owen Hart against the Macho Man? No, that's in the second bracket. The first bracket. Oh, oh this part here. Okay. Um, boy. Ken Shamrock and Bret Hart. That's yeah. Gonna that's going to be pretty awesome. That's a 97 flashback when they had a little tiff. Um... That's probably the big one that comes out of that one. Pat, you see anything? Uh, I'd have to give let's see Edge and Bad News Barrett. I think that's going to be a pretty good match. They're pretty well evenly I think sized up. People are going to remember Bad News Barrett. Everybody remembers Edge, clearly. But, I mean, people are going to remember Bad News Barrett was the last winner. So, Duggan against Stone Cold is... A I, wash. It, yeah, I think it's going to be a wash, pretty much. <laughs> Duggan beat Stone Cold for the United States Championship. So, let's not underestimate good old Hacksaw. And That's he, when he was stunning Steve Austin. Yes. Yeah. In WCW. Yep. So, all right, moving on to the <clears throat> second bracket... Uh, by far, it, it's got to be Owen against the Macho Man. If no, if anybody disagrees with me, tell me why. Nah, I think yeah. I'm with you. That's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, there's not. I mean, because they're both both of their names are really big. You know what I mean? Those are the most notable names on that list to me, as the youngest guy here. You're just pounding this old age into us today, aren't you? <laughs> I, I'm not doing anything God doesn't do anyway. <laughs> wow. The one that I think the four of us better vote for is the Tito Lesnar match. Yeah. If Lesnar wins, ah. Uh... You know what's funny is this is just a voting thing on Facebook, but I know all four of us sitting here have like moves going through our head. Like, watching, this is actually I'm watching, a thing that's actually happen. watching this match exactly. go down. <laughs> I'm taking this serious. Like I, I'm trying to drum up business to get <laughs> Tito for the win, you know. Uh, the next bracket you have... I can actually see in my head Mark running down and trying to like grab a hold of Lesnar's leg just to make him lose this match. Right, because me and Tito, you know, we're boys. Well, I mean, it's the descent, bud. It is descent. We're almost like we're family. <laughs> I've known you 30 years, right. Mark. You too, Pat. Oh, yeah. uh, third family, bracket. brother. Family. Third bracket. Um, I gotta say Harley Race and the Million Dollar Man. Wow, Harley wow. Race! You love Harley Race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> Used to be ten pounds of gold. Um, no, but w- which match is uh, better than that? Mabel and Rocky King, William Regal and Jimmy King. William Regal and Jimmy King well, would be my tri- match. Triple H and uh, Lawler. Yeah, Triple H and Jerry Lawler. I'm That'd sticking to my match. guns though. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I I'm just gonna be flabbergasted if the second round ends up Rocky King and Jimmy King. And I know there's people out there already <laughs> waiting to make that happen. Oh, He's sitting boy. right here smiling at you, <laughs> yeah. He really is. I know. That's why I stared right at you. <laughs> so, again, this starts Thursday. Uh, do we want to touch on anything coming up? Uh, Hell in the Cells tonight. I don't know who's oh, going to yeah. watch it. I will, of course. I'll watch it. Yeah. I don't have to go to work till 7 tomorrow. I'm going to watch it. Oh, that's right. You're cutting grass all week. Yeah. In, in the rain. In so the hurricane. You, so you won't be doing a damn thing. <laughs> uh, May Young Classic this week I have not watched, and we'll cover that again on Wednesday. So this is a quick one. Aren't they always quick? No, they're not. Some of them get a little long, especially when we get uh, Pat on here to talk about All In. That was long. <laughs> <laughs> It was a bit long-winded, you guys. You're right. That's it. Everybody's kind of docile now. Yeah, I mean, we got the tournament figured out. We're just staring at this paper, like drooling over the possibilities of uh, 
Who's These gonna what win if matches? Win. We're ready. Uh, so Jason Lang, this is for you. Uh, we hope you enjoy it today, and I know you're gonna be voting. We we talked to Jason Saturday, and he loves this. He <laughs> loves he loves the shtick that we do. So that's where we are at. This is gonna be a good tournament, guys. That first tournament was off the hook. Uh, there were some great teams in that, and some of the comments we got on that. We left out probably another dozen great teams, and I hate to overuse that word. Great, there were great teams that didn't even make it, and it was still an awesome tournament. I think this is going to be fantastic too. You know, spoiler: we're going to do that again. We'll do maybe like just an AWA tag teams. Who's the best of AWA? Who's the best of NWA? NWA, Who's the best of WCW? We'll do that again because I know Sylvan's mad that we left out the Usos. He he didn't talk to me for five days. Yeah, poor kid. Yeah, so. I think next time we do a round table, we should probably either A, shouldn't get so drunk the night before. Well. That's Dom's fault. Which is. That's Dom's fault. For turning 50. <laughs> or Jerk. B, do it before we go out and get drunk, and that way we'll be full of energy. I think we do it as we're drunk, and then oh, yeah, the, the true that. Pat will come out. <laughs> He'll fight with one of us at the end of the table, and then uh, tell us about it next week. Hit on our wives, want to fight us. <laughs> He wears a villain club shirt for a reason. Right? <laughs> he, he's, he's putrid. All right, we will see you guys on Wednesday. John, thanks for coming. Definitely stopping good. by. Loopy, go home. <laughs> and uh, Paul, I'll see you tomorrow at work. See you tomorrow at work, Marky. Remember, just because you're trash doesn't mean you can do great things. It's called a trash can, not a trash cannot. It's garbage. Whatever.